Welcome Lakota fans to East versus West. The three and 15 Firebirds host the Lakota East Thunderhawks at 13 and six. I'm Steve Newen. Alongside me today is Mike Golden. Mike, how are you today? Doing great. Welcome for a great uh, neighborhood uh, brawl here in the in the Firebird gym. You Should know, be a great one. You can throw the records out here, Steve. Oh, uh, you're exactly right. These kids play hard. They know each other. They grew up together. And here we go. East wins the tap. Peck bringing the ball up. Man-to-man -man defense by West Firebirds. Over to Jackson C. Bash Whelan had a great game against. Here's Jared Cox for the first play. And from downtown County, that's a three. Well, his, his, there it's over. <laughs> his three-point uh, shooting is amazing. He's a he's a he's had some great games. I've been watching. He's uh, they were down to Oak kills. He had six in the going into the fourth quarter. Wound up with 22. And you're shooting 52 percent from the three-point area. That's pretty darn good. West with the ball, Farthing with the ball over to Groth. Dri dribble drive in the wags. Out to Greenwood. Good screening. 15 nice move by Greenwood. Footer, no good. He rebound by Bash Whelan. That was a good look by Greenwood. He needs to finish that. Jared Cox running outside. Three-pointer for a pack. That's going to be long. Good rebound. box out. Yeah, good rebound by Groth. Great student sections tonight on both sides. Jim is filling up. Yep, we have the white out from the west side and the black out from the east side. Man-to-man -man defense by East. Almost kind of a soft zone. Oh, he, he traveled. He got him. That's good defense. Good crew, officiating crew out here. Johnny Sager out there just got no, uh, just got voted in Hall of Famer. As so, you were uh, sharing, a, a long lineage of officials in this yeah, family. Yeah, his dad, his brother. Peck bringing the ball up. He's up three here early in the ball game. Call an air ball. Jackson C with the ball. Inside to Jared. Double teaming Jared. Mangle with the ball. Bash Wheeling, Bash Wheeling out there coming off a 28 point game against Mason the other night. Here's Bash outside of Jackson. A little bit too far out of his range there. Good defense by West. What I love about West, even in the first game, they were just played tenacious defense. Inside the bash, and Mango with the rebound, and we got a. What do we got here? Looks like a West foul. Foul on. Fouls on Mitch Wagner, his first team first. Out of bounds by Peck. East likes to do a lot of uh, moving around here on the. Inbounds, got to get it in. Got it in. Good defense by West. Mangold. Jump shot, no good. Good box out. Rebounded by McCorkle. Over there to Farthing. 3 0 lead so far in the contest. West is going to play a very slow down offense, keep this game under management. Good hustle by Peck. Almost stole the ball. Very loud gym here tonight. Boy, if West gets any mojo going, it's going to be a very loud crowd. I always give East Inside credit, though. Of a what, East oh. always travels very well. Yeah, they do. Every game I've been in, visitor or home, East travels very well. I'm a gym rat. I, you know, I enjoy going to the games no matter where they are. No doubt. Even Oak Hills. It's a, <laughs> that's probably the schlep. <laughs> I didn't even get to Oak Hills. I can't even remember. Yeah, I get lost a, every time yeah, I go. You've got to there. take a helicopter. McCorkle on the line to shoot two, and first one's good. West needs a lot from McCorkle tonight. McCorkle is a 73, almost 74% free throw shooter. He's their leading point getter. Second one is counted. 3-2 lead for uh, East. West uh, wow, full putting court full pressure court pressure. Yep. Looking for a trap opportunity. Great hustle by Mitch Wagner. Way to go Wags. Wags a hustler. He brings a nice energy to this team. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, Matt gets everything he's got out, out of all his kids when, they, yep. when they're on the floor. I really, he's a well-coached team. Yep. Here's Peck with the ball. Oh, that's a travel. Oh, no call. The, see from downtown. Count it. Jackson three from downtown. East up 6-2. That's the key thing. Clint Atkins will always tell you he needs 
six to ten points from C, Peck, and when you'll see Will Johnson comes in, he gets six. If he can get that contribution, that opens everything up for the other guys. Yep. Student sections going at it pretty good at each other. Very clean. Very respectful. Wags with the ball on top. Very Wags typical. driving to the basket. And, oh, in and out. Bash Wheeling with the rebound. Being chased down. Jared Cox for three. Count it. Wow. Downtown. Nine to two. Jared Cox from downtown. That's his sixth point. He came to play here for his final West game. Wags on top. Sees out on the defense. Oh, good look inside to Greenwood. Nice. Nice pass. Nice pass. Good, good offense there. A little full court pressure put on by East. I mean by West. Jared thought about it. With no look pass to McC uh, Over to Peck. Oh, uh, gave the lane. Oh, got a foul. Foul's on number 10, Groff. That'll be the team's second. Here comes a replay. Nice dribble penetration, and he got him with the body. Yep. Good call. Peck on the line uh, is only a 62% free throw shooter, so he needs to uh, take that back. 58 after the game the other night. First one is no good. Corey uh, Blunt coming in the game for East. Ayler now in for West. Uh, and Will Johnston. Keep an eye on number 24, Will Johnston. He he's just earned his playing time all year and and has uh, contributed to great tenacious defense. Second one is no good. Missed them both. That well, was a good foul, it turned out. Greenwood bringing the ball down. Greenwood has the ball over to McCorkle. That's Ayler in the game now for Groth. Ayler, he's a big kid. I like him. Yeah. McCorkle with the ball. Covered by Bash Whelan. Good defense by East. Corey Blunt on him. Oops, he oh, slipped. Wow. Slipped. Going to have a tie up. That's going to go to West. That was close to a foul. Yep. In the ball game, coming in for East, Nate Johnson, freshman. Here comes Carter Combs. Carter Combs will add a perimeter shooting game for West. Jackson C coming back in the game for East. Carter Combs bringing the ball in. Okay, Greenwood's going to bring the ball up. He's carded by Jared Cox. Corkle, oh, he saw an opening. Good pass, cross cut, skip pass over. Over to Ayler. Outside of McCorkle. This is exactly your typical Matt Rooks offense right here. A lot of motion, patience. Yep. They want to slow it down. West needs to keep it a low scoring game. For sure. No disrespect, but they need to keep it low scoring. Oh, East has a lot of firepower. Oh, he traveled. He traveled. Yep, he traveled. Good defense by East. Full court pressure going to be put on by West. I wonder how long Matt's going to stay with that because it hasn't uh, really done its job in terms of pressure in East much yet. And, and there's a little – and East has good depth. Nate Johnson's a freshman guard, number five. Oh, wow. Good size for a freshman. Yeah, Corey Blunt. Will Johnson at the ball at the top. He can shoot the three. Here goes Nate. Count it. Off the glass. Two-pointer. 11-4 with two minutes to go here in the first quarter. East leading. Greenway bringing the ball up. Over to number 23, Ayler. Ayler without any place to go with the ball right now. A lot of oh, he's McCorkle. got a man underneath. McCorkle with a shot. Count it. Nice touch. Count that from McCorkle. That is his fourth point of the game. East up five with a uh, minute 30 to go here in the first quarter.
Motion offense for East. Corey Blount from outside, no good. Long rebound. Jared Cox hustling in the ball. Offensive rebound, he smells it. He's going to the hoop. And we got a foul. Fouls at number 15, Miles Greenwood. That'll be his first foul. Team third. Coach Rooks didn't agree with that call, apparently. Outside of Jared Cox. Bash Whelan going to the hoop. Stolen. Good steal. Good steal. All West right. down five with the ball. This is a Less good opportunity for West here to cut into the lead. A minute to go here in the first quarter. Man-to-man -man defense, very deliberate offense by West. You think they're playing for one, Steve? Yeah, Coach Rooks typically does here. Good cut, good defense on the cut. Good coverage on the second runner. Outside Halen. for three, count it! Great shot. Great pointer from downtown, and West up down by two. Good shot. Good shot selection there. There we go, backyard neighborhood game. Will Johnson, uh, East will play for one. Yep. Nate Johnson with the ball on top. Got 12 I, seconds to go. I got to believe he's going to be looking for Cox somewhere. Yeah. Nate might take it himself. Oh, good oh, steal good by McCorkle. He's got time. Still he's got time. Go up, shoot it. Blocked by Jared. And that's the end of the first quarter. With the score, East 11. Firebirds 9. And leading scorer for East is uh, Jared Cox. And McCorkle is leading for uh, the Firebirds with four points. Jerry with six. Boy, I'd say that was a pretty good quarter there, Steve-O. They didn't disappoint at all. Both sides played very well there. I tell you, it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of high pressure. Uh, but at the same time, both offenses showed some nice patience. Bottom line is, no matter the records, West comes out and plays defense, OK? Yes. And they, they're, tena they're tenacious out there. And, uh, and, you know, like any game that we haven't really had a chance to talk about, turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. So West needs turnovers to beat East tonight, and so far they've gotten a couple. Yep. And East on the other side needs to keep a, a hold of the ball, but also force West with turnovers as well. I'll go one step further. When, the, when West makes a mistake or doesn't get the basket, they've got to get an offensive rebound. They've got to yeah. be more efficient. Just to give you an idea, the student sections, uh, East is wearing all black tonight. Beat West shirts, and our friends at Lakota West is wearing Beat East, and they're white. They're whiting out tonight. Yeah. Really good. Look at the West uh, student section out here. And leading the cheer over there is Keegan Fish. East has the ball, Peck in the game, and here we go with the second quarter. Peck, double dribble penetration. Ooh. Ooh. Inside of Whelan. Outside, no good. Good defense. So far, they've done a very nice job of shutting down Whelan. Yeah. West with the ball and a chance to tie or go ahead. Farthing with the ball out to Greenwood. A little deliberate offense again. This is kind of playing right into West's hands. Nice turn. Aylor Outside jump shot for three, count it! Aylor went from downtown and we are, West is up by one. Once good again, shooting. Good shot selection. Yeah, good deliberate offense. Looking for a five second call from Wagner. Jackson, Will Johnson with the ball. Trying to dribble penetrate over to Jared Cox. Over to Jackson C. Over to Bash. Out of, out of bounds on East. We talked about it. There's that turnover that West is looking for. There's a turnover. Lazy pass inside. Better serve with a bounce pass there, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The question is, can West convert here? That's going to be the key. Yeah, they, so far they have. Yes. So far they have. Greenway bringing the ball up. 6.45 to go here in the, the first half. Very deliberate offense, and West leading by one. Patience looking for the outside perimeter. Oh, great nice. move by Farthing. Caught it. Two points. Three-point lead for West. 
Here comes Peck, pushing the ball up. Bounce pass inside. East down by three, west up by three, depending how you look at it. <laughs> Jared Cox going to the move, no good. Rebound by Wagner. Wagner needs to slow this down. He's not the man to control the ball here. Well, he's trying to bring it up. There you go. Over to Greenwood. Same thing, stay slow, stay disciplined. And deliberate, as you said. Oh, that's a bad pass. Oh, too the... bad. He's Paul. That's called a tweener. He couldn't yeah. decide if he wanted to pass it or bounce pass it. They did both. Three-point lead here for West. That turnover hurt West there. A Corkle back in the game, giving Greenwood a breather. I think we're going to see a bomb go here. Go long. Somebody's got to go long. Peck making a run for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, Jared Cox bringing the ball up. Going to play Fairmont State next year. Oh, that's along awesome. Along with uh, Andrew Emmerich, the shooter, we call him, affectionately. Skip pass. West, West uh, student section, why is it so quiet on the east side? <laughs> I like it. Very clean cheering sections. That's what we talked about before the game, very respectful sides. Yeah, I always love it. Unlike what's been written about in the paper this week. Yep. Mango with the ball. Cox. Let's see if he gets he the charge. Yes, he, he got, got the charge. charge. Is he going to count the basket? Here comes the rebound. I think he leaned into him. Here's the replay on that. Uh, yeah, uh, he leaned, lean. he leaned lean. his right shoulder into him. A little lean. Yeah. That's Jared's uh, second foul, so he's got to get him out. Yep. He got in foul trouble in the uh, Mason game, and he didn't. Uh, so that's where Bash really came in. Three-point lead for the Firebirds. Yep. With the ball, McCork will bring it up. I'd say they're going to be very deliberate here. Keep this game very low scoring. That's the key here for West. They don't have near the firepower of offense that East has. Good cuts here. They're reminding the uh, West fans of the football score, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. All right. Friendly Del competition. Deliberate offense. You know, if I'm, I'm West, I'm going to hold the ball here for the last shot of the quarter. A little Bobby Plump play. <laughs> yeah. Or Hoosiers? Yeah. Oh, we got a hand check. Oh. Fouls are pretty even, though. Bash Wheeling with the foul. That's his first. Team's third. Comes the deliberate offense. McCorkle thought about it. Good dribble. Oh, nice cut. West still very comfortable, pay and patient here. Yep. Kind of reminds me of the Kentucky UC game about 30 years ago. <laughs> or so in my age. So 30 years ago, I just came into this country, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great look Outside by Aylor. He's short. Rebound by Peck. Oh, we're going the other way with it, anyways. That's Wagner's second, I think. Well, that was on uh, Wagner. Yeah, that's Wag. That's his second. Coach got to take him out for a little breather. What a game, 14 to 11. Yeah, here we go. Grant Spicer in the game. Grant came in at, at, against Mason and contributed with six points and a lot of hustle. So look out for him. He's kind of one of those look out for. Stephen Fauche is in the game. Looks like a lineman. He is. I believe he just committed to uh, the football. Did he? Where is he, he going? Oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't believe it's a – oh, I can't remember now. It, he was looking at Kentucky, but I don't think he ended up there. Jackson C for three. Count it. Three-pointer. And that ties the game at 14 all. Jackson C with his sixth point of the game. And we're all tied up. And that was, shot was from downtown. The Corkle again, staying, staying deliberate. Greenwood with the ball. I think they're trying to find a way to get the perimeter ball to, to uh, Combs here. Yeah. Nice cut. Nice defense. 
Coach Shea does not have that shot. shot. He does not have that shot. Well, he's strong. Oh, oh nice look. pass. Nice look. Ah. Oh, he couldn't finish. Great pass. Oh, good pick. Oh, that's going to be West Wall. Got to always look at what's from behind you. Snuck up behind him. Great hustle play. Yep. I think that was Groth that got that steal. Yeah, he got it. Good job. Groth or Greenwood, one or the other. Might have been Greenwood now that I think about it. Greenwood with the ball. Just good hustle from behind. Didn't give up on the play on the wheelin. McCorkle here, tied up 14 all. Good cut. Out of bounds off of West East Ball. It wasn't a bad look to Greenwood. I don't think I think Greenwood was caught by surprise a little bit. Another turnover there. Mango coming in for Peck. Getting some scoring and size in there. Will Johnson will bring the ball up. I look for Whelan here because he's got a matchup against Groth. Back to Whelan. Over to Jackson C. Good defense. Posting up, double teaming on Whelan. Jackson C is going to go up with another three. Count it! His ninth point from downtown. And Lakota East is up 17-14. I remember I said we need some, uh, East needed some contribution, and they got it from Jackson. He's already got nine points. Yeah. And being able to take the lead without Cox on the floor, that's huge. Yeah, that's big. Poche looking for somebody before he, he's going to have to get a dribble. Deliberate offense here again. 5-0 uh, run for East. Yeah. Fans aren't happy with the physical play underneath. I think it's GMC basketball, though. It that's is. the way I look at it. It is. It's big boy basketball. I like it. I agree with you. You know, I don't like ticky tack fouls no. in basketball. No. It's like the Big East Conference, the old Big East Conference. It used to be all. Let them play it out. Let them play. Call the obvious. Still, still a uh, very methodical offense by West. Oops, oh, that's, that's a, a foul. foul. Yeah, you got it. That's him. a good call. Good call. That foul's on Mangold. That's going to be his. That's his first team fourth. Only eight, eight, uh, nine, uh, eight fouls here in the half for both teams. Uh, they brought Peck, East has brought Peck and Blunt back in. Uh, Peck's got to re-report here. Spicer and Peck back in. Corey Blunt back in for East. Coach, Coach Atkins is requesting something. He tried to get, get Peck in. He couldn't get in. Oh, he didn't report properly. You know, the kids, you know what it is? The kids keep coming to the Greenwood going in. Nice defense. Oh, that's a Reach. foul on Corey. They, they keep coming in, and they just think they tap, and they're in. You got yeah. you to wait to be called in. Yep. Yeah, these East-West games, a lot of energy, so these kids just kind of jump on the floor. Fouls on Corey Blonde is that first, team fifth. Still got about a minute six here to go in the half. Oh, nice move by McCorkle. Good defense there by Jackson C. They're going to have less than a minute to go. I think they're going to hold for a shot here. What do you think, Steve? -O? I definitely think so. Again, Coach Rooks is a big fan of this, managing the game. Upsets the fans, but that's the way it goes. A little deliberate here. McCorkle with the ball on top, getting the count. Dribble. Here comes a double team. Oh, nice steal by Matt Bass. He's going to the line, count it. No, 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 no basket, no charge. charge. That's a great job by Greenwood positioning himself. Yeah. Yep. Here's the replay. I think it's a good call. Uh, that's a good call. I think so. He's moving a little bit, but they've been consistent. I think that's a good call. We get the benefit of slow motion replay. Yeah, that's a good call. You know, you know, my son, my son was not the the tallest of players, and he was able to take a lot of charges. And I used to tell him, I said, you're not good enough to block anybody. Take a charge. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Greenwood with. Oh, oh, he should have made a decision there. It's going to be in trouble. There it is. Uh, oh, they left the ball behind. 
Got to get a hold of it. 13 seconds to go. On the no, floor. No basket. That's actually a good foul. Oh, that was a little chaotic. Yeah. Eight seconds to go. East with the ball. They're going to bring Jared Cox in with two fouls. They're going to bring, uh, West is going to bring Bradley Groth in as well. He's Take not out sure he's Peck. taking out yet. Peck. Groth's coming in for Combs for defense. Ball's out of bounds with 8.7 seconds to go here in the first half. Out to Jared Cox. He will likely keep the ball. It's going to be him that takes the shot. Jump shot. No good. McCorkle has it, and that's going to be the end of the first half. With the Lakota East Thunderhawks 17 and the Lakota West Firebirds 14. Wow, we'll be you. back at the second half. Great first half, Steve. Great first half. See you to the other side. Welcome back, Firebird fans. The East versus West here at Lakota West. I tell you what, what a great game, Mike Golden. Yeah, it's, uh, to, you know, throw the records out. Doesn't matter. These kids have grown up together. They know each other. They play in the, the, the schoolyards in elementary school, junior high. This is uh, just a backyard game, and they know how to play each other. I tell you what, some surprising leading scorers. Yeah, we do. Jackson C is leading it for East with three three-pointers. And uh, Matt Eller is leading it for uh, for the West Firebirds. I, I think the key stack here right now, and remember you and I talked about turnovers. Turnovers yes. are six to six, but uh, points off turnovers has got East eight to five right now, and I think that's going to be a key stat along the way. And this game stays close. Free throws. Yep. The question is, can West keep up the shooting percentage? They had a 55% shooting percentage. In the first uh, you half. Know, hey, that's how you win games. That's why you big, big upsets. Yep. Here we go. Second half, basketball at Firebirds Gym. Oh, nice move here by Wags, and that's a foul. <laughs> I'll be on Mango. That's going to call it on the floor. Take that back. They're going to call that on, uh, yeah, Mango. It was on the floor. First foul. His second foul of the game. Inside of Wags. Nice move. Stolen and out of bounds. East ball. Yeah, Wagner tried to take a move there, but didn't realize there was a second defender behind it. Yeah, Jared was right there and kind of put the stop sign up. Peck with the ball. They're doing a little trap zone. Wow. Oh, somebody's open. Jared Cox for three. No good. Rebound by Wagner. West ball. That's what I think the trap does. It makes you force a shot. You make it great, but then it's a quick, uh, if it's a missed shot, it's a quick rebound. Yeah, I think uh, Jared had a good look there, but I think he could have taken it in. I agree. Wagner, oh, nice foot fake. Ooh, Farthing almost walked. He tried, nice stop inside. Greenwood with the ball up top. Taking on Peck. Nice shot. Oh, he missed it. Rebound and foul. He caught Mango napping a little bit there. He could have had that rebound pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, he should have. Greenwood is a 44% free throw shooter. These are big free throws here for his confidence. This is the challenge for Wes. If it gets down to free throws down the stretch, they're going to be scared. Yeah. First one is no good. And we need to make these as on the West side. Yeah, you got to, yeah. Taylor coming in the game, and no good. Rebound by Jared Cox. Out to Peck. Greenwood picking him up right away. Ah, turnover. Peck turns the ball over. Oh, blocked by Cox. What a, what a pay. What a hustle play. Peck, no good. Too hard. I don't, that was a great block by Jared Cox. Fantastic hustle play. Yeah, great hustle play. He's coming here like this is his last East-West game. You think? Absolutely. So not the last game of his career as he continues on. No, he's going to play at Fairmont next year. Oh, and Jared Cox pass. with the steal. He'll take that in. Count it. Jared Cox with the steal and the bucket, and he's up by five. And we got a timeout by Matt Rooks. And the coach is not happy. He's going to take a full timeout. Yeah, he's, well, he's, I'd say right off the bat, West came off uh, 
with three turnovers. And here comes the block. Look at this hustle by Jared Cox coming down. All the way down, and that's clean. Look at the height he gets. He's amazing. Uh, Look God at this. No idea. I mean, great, great penetration. I would have got up with the left hand there if I was. Well, well, what a play. Back in our coaching days, we required the left hand there to get the yeah, body in the yeah, way. Exactly. So, Groth, great hustle by Groth getting the ball, running it down. And uh, what a, just great hustle by Cox to come back. And, uh, you know, Jared's just another level of athlete. Yeah. There are all great athletes out there, but he you see how high he got up off the off the court There's to make no that doubt. block. Surprised the heck out of Groth. He had no idea it was coming. Exactly. And then you watch uh, Jared finish the basket on this side in the open play. I mean, there's nobody that could stop that move he put yeah, on the ball. Yeah. Used his body very well. Very yeah. disciplined player. Very controlled kid. Yep. Okay, uh, this will be uh, West Ball coming out. 19-14 uh, with 6.13 to go in the third quarter. This is where West needs to score a bucket. They don't want to get this two out of hand. Then they can't be in that methodical offense. As you and I talked about at half, if they can keep it 10 or under, then they can play their game. There's no doubt. I tell you what, these two teams, exactly the opposite in the football field as they are on the basketball floor. Yeah. You know, in football, mm -hmm. East plays a very methodical, controlled game. Yeah. Here on the basketball floor, it's the opposite. West plays a controlled game. McCorkle from outside, no good. they got to get Peck, McCorkle going. Peck, Peck's got to slow down. Oh, boy, oh there's a, a hole. Body foul. Yeah. Jackson C, he's got it. Feel it downtown for Jackson C. Woo! Downtown, that is his 12th point. And East is up by eight. Got to do my math here. Yeah. Greenwood with the ball. Coach Atkins doing his imitation of the Mason coach. I know. I need new shoes by the end. Greenwood with inside. No good. Rebound by, by Mangold. Oh, and we got a charge on oh, Cox. Boy. That's his third. That's not where Cox wanted that foul. Yeah, he needs us. You can't. You got to stay in control. Yeah, and, and to your point, in that situation, there was really no reason to hurry the ball down. The yeah, floor. just stay in control. You had the lead. Yeah. He got in foul trouble against Mason, like I said earlier. Okay, here we go. Number five, Mesa. Mesa is in the game, being yeah. the point guard. Ayler, who led the. Led West in the first half with scoring. Chuck Massa has the outside Combs. shooter. There he is. Count Boom. it. Three. Downtown. And it's a five-point lead. Massa with a nice three-point shot. Over to Jackson C. Goes in. No foul. Oh. And here comes West. Ooh, watch the travel. I thought that would have been a body foul against Jackson, but no. Nope. I, I got to agree with you. There's a reach foul. Coach Atkins not going to be happy with that. Here comes Corey Blunt coming in. That's uh, Peck's first. Team uh, fourth already. Five-point lead for the Thunderhawks with West with the ball. Mengel coming out. The second runner, here it comes. There's Wagner. Oh, no good. Rebound. Foul on oh. C. Jackson C. Jackson, be good careful. hustle by Ayler on the rebound. Wes has got the mojo going right now. Ever since Cox had, Cox had that um, charge. charge, I think this guy's a little inside of McCorkle, and that's good. And it's a three-point lead for the Thunderhawks. West with a nice comeback. Yeah. Don't get a stupid foul here. Peck's got to stay under control for East. Outside of Corey Blunt. Outside jumper. Count it for three. Corey Blunt. And that is three points for Corey, and that takes the lead back up to six. Massa with the ball. Up top. Will trotter by Will Johnson, Corey Blunt. This is where West has to stay disciplined. Yep, stay, stay in their game. They're still very much in this game. Stay disciplined, get the good shot. They're shooting the ball well. Yep. West has a lot of juniors McCorkle on the floor. McCorkle against Peck. Peck with uh, McCorkle with a shot. No good. Rebound by Peck. Ooh, 
almost another turnover. Will Johnson from outside, no good. Rebound by Wagner. West got the look they wanted from the east side. That's They want him yeah. taking that one. Yeah, Will's, Will's been making that, but yeah, you're right. That's a good shot. He's been making that against the uh, last four or five games. Is that right? Yeah. Moss with the ball, and we got a 30-second timeout by West. That'll leave them with three timeouts for the game. Clint Atkins saves all his times out for the last five minutes of the fourth quarter. No usually. kidding. Yes, he does. So here we have a reset here. We got 25-19, Thunderhawks versus the Firebirds at this point. Leading scorers right now for East is Jackson C with 12 points. Four three-pointers, and that last one was from way downtown. Wow. Ayler and Massive hit some great threes for West and keeping them in the ball game. They're shooting very well from the outside. Key for West right now, turnovers. Yes. No turnovers, got it. Yep. And they've had some good shots uh, inside, the, inside the paint, and they just haven't fallen for them at this point. So right now, I really like West's game. They were, they're getting the shots. They're, they're being methodical, but they're getting, they're getting the shots they need. Yeah, to your point, I think the game plan is working for West, keeping this game close. Keeping uh, disciplined and methodical on offense, looking for the open threes, and converting them. But the key is converting them. Right. West needs to get to the fourth quarter under 10. Yes. That's the key. All right. Massa with the ball. Oh, almost to number 10, Groth. Outside Cone's of number 32 this. comes. Yes. Count it. They are hitting the ball outside really well. And That's a it's big three. downtown, and we got a three-point game again. Uh-oh. Turnover. Uh-oh. Well, West with the ball with a three-point deficit. Peck turned the ball over. Turnovers, turnovers. We talk about it all the time. Here comes Massa. Chance for West to get within one or tie. Wagner with the ball on top. Oh, he's wide open, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Corey Blunt. Over to Bash Whelan. Not getting a bad look. Booze, getting the booze, because he was once a, once a firebird. Yep. Nate in the game. Oh, there's a charge. He got him. Another charge. Nate Johnson. Not playing under control. The guards are not playing under control for East right now. No. Unfortunately, they think that that's their job is to dribble, penetrate, and just dish. They're not realizing they got to keep their body in control. Yeah, they got to keep it under control. All right, West has a chance again to tie or get within one. Playing a very solid game against their crosstown rivals, East Thunderhawks. I'm impressed with Coach Rook's game plan. He's executing it right there. Yeah, yeah. I've always liked Matt as a coach. Yep. He's a very good coach. Over to Groff, over to Greenwood. Little arm Luttrell almost got, a, almost got a steal. Off his leg, get on the floor. Good hustle by Greenwood. Greenwood's got it, and they got a tie up, and it's going to be a East ball. Fans looking for a foul there. Mr. Card over there controlling the fans <laughs> back over there. Matt, Matt getting it into a John Sager in a friendly way. Hey, West has nothing to lose here. Yeah. Bash Whelan with the ball. We got a foul on McCorkle. That's well, the first team foul of the half for West. That's his first, team's first. Back in the game for West, Groth replacing Combs. Yep. Keeping everybody fresh if he can. Coach Rooks will do that. He'll rotate eight or nine players in and out. Third. Minute 30. Dash Whelan driving to the bucket. Count it. And good. Dash Whelan with it. Won't get a whole lot of cheering from there the West side. There goes the rebound. Count the basket. He goes to the hoop, and he got pushed from behind. Yeah, Groff. By Groff, and count the basket. Bash is a 77% free throw shooter. Will Johnson coming out. Mangle back in the game for East. Part of the storyline today, that's uh, Whelan's first basket. 
Count it. Six point lead back up for East. Kyle, Kyrell Metz into the game for East, along with Mangold. That's Whelan's first three points of the ball game. Full court pressure being put on by East here. Let's see how West handles it. And I want a foul. Greenwood with the ball. I think you want Gre uh, McCorkle holding the ball here. Got almost 10 seconds. Oh, oh we got a foul. foul. Yep. That's going to be one and one. That's going to take the, them to the one and one, and that'll be who's going up to the foul. I think it's Greenwood going to be on the foul. Greenwood or McCorkle? Greenwood. Greenwood is a 44% free throw shooter. He's 0 for 2 so far tonight. Back in the game is Bash Williams and Will Johnston for the East Thunderhawks. One and one, back in the game for West, Bradley Groff, playing a solid game for the West Firebirds. His hustle and tenacity is really nice on the floor. Yeah, I, 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 they're all playing a solid game for yep. West. And West needs that. We're going to officials timeout. Uh, we've got an officials double checking the foul count. Seems like we have a discrepancy. Got both books together. Dan Highland for East. Here we go. One and one. Yep. In those situations, it's the home field's uh, book, is it not? It's the home field book, but you always want to be together. Yep. First one is count it. Wow, a lot of action underneath. Big, big free throw for Greenwood. That takes it down to a five-point lead. You don't. It's, if you're East, you don't want fouls all the way at half court, and you got to give them a free shot with the clock stop. Yep. I think West just subbed in Conrad Kurtz for his first minutes of the game, senior this year. Second one is no good, and we got a foul. And a foul against Conrad, man who just stepped in. 33, Conrad Kurtz. It's his first team's third. I think uh, Groth and Whelan having a little action together. It's all right. They're old friends. Yeah. Former teammates. Uh, nobody wants to get a technical. Everybody stay cool. Everybody stay cool. The veterans referee crew here. Yeah, I they like this crew. Happen. I'm, I'm yep. fine with this crew. Yep. Doing a nice job of managing the game. Oh, good trap here. Uh, that was good. Jackson C. bringing the ball up. Having a great game tonight for East. His final East-West game. Inside of Nate. Foul. Oh. Unfortunately, he got him with the body because he had the ball with his hand. Yeah, he really did. Nate Johnson, a 69% free throw shooter. He's going to shoot two. East up five with... 59, basically a minute to go here in the third quarter. First one is up and no good. Nice Substitution, 33 coming out. Wagner back in. West continues For, to do a good job of controlling this game. Yeah, they keep rotating in and out. They're in the game. Yeah. They're, they're in the game. There's no question about it. Free throws, free throws, a free throw. <laughs> Count it. East up six with 59.8 seconds. Got a little full court pressure here. All right. Farther needs to get further down the floor. Yeah, McCorkle's got to get it down there. Oh, almost a foul. Wow. Got it over. Nice job by McCorkle. Very calm. calm There's foul. a reach. That just plays right into West. Yes. That's just not smart. And McCorkle is one of our better free throw shooters. Yeah. Here comes another line change, hockey line change. Yeah, here we go. McCorkle is a 74% free throw shooter. One and one. Coach Atkins yelling out on the box out. 
One and one is good. Count it. That's what you got to do. Sophomore, great free throw shooter. It's the little things in basketball to winning. You could jump out of the gym, but you got to be able to hit these. This is where you can contribute. There's no doubt. I mean, free throws and turnovers, we talk about it all the time. Second one is good. Four-point lead for East with 44.6 seconds to go. A little full-court pressure by West. Oh, we have another pushing again. We have another pushing again. You see that veteran crew, crew do that? Yeah. That's a great job by the official crew. Yeah. Get him out. He's yep. getting a little too pushy. Yep. Give him a little breather. <laughs> Dad, one of the dads are here. Yeah. <laughs> we apologize. You can hear that over the volume. Yeah. Will Johnson bringing the ball up. Great pressure. Go, go. Full court man. Good defense by Ayler. Like his game. Yeah, he started off the season as uh, as kind of the sixth or seventh man. Now he's moved himself into a nice position being the fifth yeah, he's man. he's playing well. McCorkle guarding Jackson C. He's trying to go for one. Mangold with the ball. Oh, wow. Skip pass. Nate McMillan going up. Nice I, block. Oh, I thought it was a good block. Woo! A lot of ball there. I thought so. Here comes the replay on that. Hey, you got him with the body. Good call. Yeah. Nate Johnson, not a statistically not shooting the ball well. 60, 70% short. Well, yeah, 29 and 25. I tell you what, this is still a ball game. It's definitely a ball game. This is exactly where West wants it to be. Less than 10. We talked about it. Yep. It's perfect for West to, to play right into West's hands. Yep. No good. Rebound oh, by the rebound. East. Oh. Nice steal back, but lost the ball there too. Got a jump ball. Timeout East with 8.6 seconds to go. We're gonna call a full timeout here. West really needed to rebound on that ball. Yeah. But that's, uh, you got to hit those free throws. We said it earlier, timeout, uh, turnovers and free throws at this point. Yeah. In a tight ball game, that's all there is. Yeah, you got to hit them. All right, let's have a reset here. 8.6 seconds ago here in the third quarter. Uh, East is up 29 25 against the Firebirds. Uh, East has called a timeout. They got an offensive rebound after two missed free throws by East. And they're going to obviously play for the last shot. Who do you think is going to get the ball? Cox just had a towel on his, on his shoulder. Uh, so my guess is it's going to go to go with your hot shooter, Jackson C. Yeah. It's going to go to Basher Jackson. Yeah, I agree. Great crowd on hand here at Firebird Gym. A lot of red over on the other side, a lot of black on this side, black and gray. Yep. Good behaving crowd. We're all going to walk out at friends, meet at the clubhouse or wherever we go. <laughs> Clubhouse has great Philly cheesesteaks over there. Yeah, they do. Wonderful food. Scott Koenig, an East guy, I hate to say, but he, yep. he's on the west side. Great family, though. Oh, great. We're, we're all good neighbors here. Go, all right, here we go. 8.6 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Lining up. Can't see. Dietze get down. Inside, oh, oh, nice play, Bash Wheeling. Oh, wow. I mean, to Mangold, two-pointer. Got to get it over. One second. He didn't get it uh, off. Yeah, that was a nice play on the inbound play. What a great timeout by Clint Atkins. So with the score, after three quarters, East 31, Fireworks 25. And as we've been saying all along, this is perfect for West. Yeah, They're in the you. game. They set it up for being the, be the game in the fourth quarter. Now they got to execute their game plan. This is a lot like Ohio State against Michigan. You throw out the records. In fact, if you look at the records in the series of these games, it's been 19 and 17 in favor of the West Firebirds. Yeah, not a big, not a big uh, one way or the other. To be honest. No, with. it's it, like I said. These kids, they all know each other. It's like Xavier UC. They play all summer. They play all the time. These kids play pickup. They play in AEU. They're all they're all together all the time. So. Yep. Friends and neighbors. The, here comes the stats. The first stat I look at is turnovers. East is winning the turnover, not losing the turnover battle, 10 to 9. Points off turnovers is still an East advantage. 
Jackson sees the leading scorer for East with 12. McCorkle is now taking the lead as far as leading scorer for for West at eight, but I think it's been a good distribution of West players. Everybody's contributing yeah. at this point. Yeah, I think the other thing you're seeing too is West shooting got a little colder. They went down to 40%, 42% shooting. Rebound total is a slight advantage by East by 13. And that last rebound was a key rebound for Huge. East on the on the missed free throws. Huge. West needed the box out there. They really, really needed the box out there. Okay, yep. it'll be West ball coming out. Let's set it for you. We got the last quarter, six-point lead for the Thunderhawks. Uh, West is shooting the bonus the rest of the way, and three timeouts for West, four for East. Here we go. The final quarter of the game. Firebirds come out with the ball here. West with the ball. Have to convert this. Yeah, I think it's a big possession from McCorkle with the ball. Over to Wagner. Good, good screening. Yep. Ayler with the shot, oh, and he's going to get fouled with for three shots. Not a good foul there. And he's going to shoot three. There's a replay. Just he completely out of position and came over to the side. Yeah, he came over and got him. First free throw, count it. Nice stroke by Ayler. That was a big try. He's a. Uh, 50% free throw shooter, so that was a big That's first surprising. one. That's surprising for a good shooter yeah. from the perimeter. Yeah. Second one is good. Four point lead here for East Thunderhawks. That huge possession for West. Got it down to a very manageable game, and they got it low scoring as well. Yeah. And then a three point play there. Oh. They missed it. Jackson C with the rebound. Oh, good takeaway uh, from Brock. They were yelling behind you, behind you. Tell you what, West doesn't give up. Out of bounds by West. East ball. Matt coaching at half court. Jackson has no option. Five seconds. Couldn't get the ball in. Good defense by West. Could not get the ball in. Corey Blunt coming in. Jared Cox is in the game for East. It's a good time to have him in the floor. All right, no pressure here. They're going to play half-court defense, which I think is smart. Four-point lead for West East with the West with the ball. Oh, bad place to pick up the dribble. That's 14th turnover for East, by the way. Wow. Greenwood with the ball. Back out to McCorkle, playing a solid game for West. Inside, oh, inside. nice. Nice move. What a move by Farley. Count it. Two-point ball game. Got it. Farling with a great play. Down to two. Peck with the ball. Over to Jared Cox. He's been sitting on the bench a lot with three fouls. Peck and Cox have to come up big here for the Thunderhawks. Outside of Jackson C. Count it. That's Jackson C's 14th point of the game, and it's a four-point lead. Great move. Great move. Having a best game I've seen him have all year. It's a good game to have it in. Greenwood with the ball. Cox with three fouls guarding him. You're going to see he won't be that aggressive. McCorkle. Very deliberate offense. Switch off, Bash wheeling with, with guarding. Greenwood with the ball. Spin move. Oh, that was a good no call, actually. Cox with the ball and a foul. Foul on Greenwood. A little out of control by Greenwood there. Yeah. Yeah. Alex Manuel, Mangold coming in for East. Groth coming back in for West. Six oh four to go. East up by four. Here comes Schaefer back in the game for West. Coach Cox likes, or uh, Coach uh, Brooks likes to use the offense defense. He's using early. everybody. I love it. Yeah, yeah. He's got everybody, keeping everybody fresh, giving the energy. Yep. He did that in game one. Over to Jackson C. Alex Mangold. Oh. Try to turn it over. He did turn it over. 
Trying to go behind his back. He can't do that in a game like this. No, especially in the lane. Yeah. Well, LeBron could do it. But yeah, well, LeBron's different. <laughs> <laughs> He's going four corners, it looks like. <laughs> or two corners, anyway. <laughs> Inside of McCorkle. And good block. That was yep. blocked by uh, Mangold. Yep. Oh, they got a trap coming. They had him for a while. It was good. Good. That was good uh, uh, patience by uh, Peck. Wheeling, count it. Oh, he got fouled. Bash Wheeling with it. Good ball movement. Good defense by West. Fouls on number 10, Groth. That'll be his third foul. That'll be the team's seventh. So we're all shooting the bonus here. Wheeling a good free throw shooter, 77%. It's an unfortunate foul, but I tell you what, West played a good job of defense there. Yeah, they play great. Switching play, off. Yeah. They're taking the East out of their game tonight. Don't, yeah. don't, hey, nothing against West defense. They are taking them out of their game. Yeah. First one is good by Whelan. That is his uh, fourth point of the game. East up by five with 5.06 to go. Second one is good. West with the ball, little little pressure by East. Coach Rooks going with a more guard-heavy lineup now. Kind of tall a timeout, six-point lead for West. I mean for East, excuse me. Full timeout going here for West. Real reset here, 4.58 to go, six-point lead for the Thunderhawks. Uh, East is shooting. Both teams are shooting the bonus. Next foul by East. West will be shooting two. Two timeouts left for, for West, four for East. What do you think so far? I, I, I per really think West is taking East out of their game. And uh, it's really amazing that, it's, uh, that West isn't leading the game, to be honest with you, the way they've taken them out defensively. Well, I think you're right. I think the offensive power of, of West is not going to match up against East. I think Coach Brooks knew that going into this. So keeping the game at, within 10, as you mentioned, in the, within the first half, that was key. Coming out of the first half tied, fantastic. Yeah. So I think the reason he called a timeout, this is a key possession, in my opinion, yeah. for West. Get a bucket, they're in it. Uh, you, you can't let the East get too far more ahead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Looking at the crowd here, we got both the East and West student sections looking real good. Got a great pet band going. Before I uh, get go any further, I want to thank our guys in the truck. Our director is Kyle Holton. Our cameraman is the cameramen are Johnny Holton, Mark Watkins, Mike Lyons, and Bill Marsh. Thanks, guys. We couldn't do it. We have a ball doing this. Yes, we do. And uh, thank you for uh, working for us. We really enjoy it. Appreciate that. Once again, West has a guard-heavy lineup in there. Yeah, they're going to shoot some. they got to get some points here. Oh, boy. Oh. That was close. That's right. No fouls. I think East doesn't want to foul anybody. Oh, he thought about it. <laughs> he thought about it. Out to five of Tomasa. <laughs> I think they're guarding the three right now. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, off his foot. Turnover. Good defense. Here comes uh, substitution. Bradley Groff, Schaefer in. Alex Mangold back in for East. Full court pressure by West. That's been working all game, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It's forced East in a position to be a little bit undisciplined. Yeah, Pe yeah Peck sometimes get a little bit. you got to be disciplined coming in. They almost lost it. Yeah. There's Jared Cox. Back out to Jackson C. He feels it. And no good. He missed. That's his first shot he's missed tonight. Good box out by Groff. Yeah, good job. Massa looking for somebody here. Four minutes to go. Six point lead for East. Alex, look back. Outside. Bash Wheeling playing good defense. Oh, we got a foul. It's on Jared Cox. Four black, okay. Jackson C. That's going to be on Jackson C. Now they're shooting two. Schaefer is a 60% free throw shooter for West. Two shots. 
And the double bonus. They'll be shooting two the rest of the way. Count it. Five point lead for West. Two. Those are big points. Big shots. Four point lead for East. Solid. Nothing but net. Inside the Cox, full court pressure. Somebody needs to step in. And we're going to call a foul, blocking foul. That was close. Yeah. Fouls on Groth. That'll be his fourth. fourth. One and one here for East. Jared Cox is a, here's a quick replay, 75% free throw shooter. Yeah, he was moving on this one. Yeah, he kind of went into him a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's a little combination of both, but the thing I, I watched Cox is he's a little out of control. Yeah. He was out. Of, it, it wasn't little. He was out of control. <laughs> I think that's what Wes has done to him. Peck's been out of control at times yeah. tonight. Jared's been out of control. To your point, I think Wes has done a nice job of taking him out of the game. Big free throw for East. And count it. <laughs> Five-point lead for East with 3.44 to go. Jared Cox with uh, nine points in the game. Second one is good. Back up to a six-point lead. West with the ball, a little token pressure by Peck. Jared Cox has got Greenwood. Out to Wags. Oh, almost a steal. Yeah. It's great defense. Taylor right going at it. Count it. Mm -hmm. No. Two-shot foul. Would have been huge if he made that basket. Fouls on Corey. That is his second foul. Ayler at this line to shoot two. Free throws, free throws. What did I tell you? No good. You know, as a fan, I always often wonder, going to offense, defense this early in the game, is that a good thing to do, a bad thing to do? What do you think of that from a coaching perspective? Uh, late in the game, I'm okay with it. But yeah. uh, early in the game, eh, it depends if you've got a deep bench and you can keep everybody fresh, and depending on your defense. If you're pressing the whole time, yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's true. Second shot is good. I always worry as a player, you lose the rhythm of the game. Yeah, that's true. Five-point lead here for East. One of two made there by Ayler. He's had a very good game, eighth point. Inside of Cox. Oh, he's got a free lane. Oh, that's a, in the head. Oh, and it's a foul call here. Foul. Who's going to give it on? If he gives it to Groth, it's his fifth. That's his fifth. That's Groth. He played a very, very, very good game. Played solid. That's his fifth foul. Admittedly, I'm not sure I saw much on that reach, but I can't. I didn't have the. Yeah, angle he got on. him in the head. I think if you Is that see right? it. Yeah. Here if comes if you replay. watch it. There's a great angle for it. Oh, he oh, grabbed him on the arm. arm. Yeah. I know he took him off his game a little bit. Yeah. Jared Cox to shoot two. He currently has 10 points in the game. First one is good. Six point lead for East. Clint Atkins sweating his uh, shirt out pretty good here. Yeah. Both coaches are coaching their, <laughs> coaching their, their off. butts off. Yeah. <laughs> Second one is no good. Out of bounds on East. Nice hustle by Corey. Six-point lead with 320. Plenty of time here. You're a three-point, sh one shot away from being down three. Yeah. And the way that uh, they're uh, penetrating, they're getting to the line. So this game has been extended. If West had come out of this with two point, two possession game, it, it, it's or two possession game all the way through, it's yeah, really good for West. Fine. Yeah. This is plenty, plenty of time left for uh, for West to get back. Yep. They're still in the game. They're less than ten. Oh, nice cut. Out of bounds on West. It was just, it was a great pass. It was tipped by Cox, and then Greenwood hit it. Yep. Will Johnson coming in. Three minutes to go, right on the button. That was a huge possession for West, though. Still plenty of time. Good pressure. Uh, yeah, Clint's looking for motion offense. 
And keep in motion. They're going to, they're, they're going to satis be satisfied with the layup only. Peck with the ball. Guarded by McCorkle. Great ball. Good defense, defense by Jared. Look at the feet moving. Oh, stolen. Peck with another turnover. That's tough. Whelan didn't move to the ball either on that one. Kind of stand there and watch it. Timeout. West, that's his. He's got one left. That was a huge, huge turnover back for I West. I think that's 18 turnovers for East. Man. And that's what got him in trouble last week against Hamilton. They had 18 turnovers and lost by a point. Yeah, I saw that score. I was shocked by it, to be frank. Yeah. And it had to be that. It had to be the turnover game. Yeah. And Hey, th and the reason they're turning it over is because West is forcing them to turn it over. That's true. But you're you right. You can't panic on the sideline here. That was a little bit of a panic thing. All right, here's a little reset, 2.26 to go. Six-point lead for Thunderhawks. West with the ball, one timeout left. Both teams will be shooting the double bonus the rest of the way. And if I'm West, I'm happy where we're at. They're still in this game. They're a bucket away or three-pointer from being uh, one possession down. Yeah, true, but uh, they have not been able to overtake the lead at all. They've gotten close. They've gotten to as close as four, I believe, but not quite over the top yet. Yep. East has done a nice job of keeping that pace out. Yep. A lot of deflections. I think uh, Coach uh, Cronin for UC, he, he counts deflections on his defense. I've seen a lot of deflections so far for, for, West, uh, for East on the defensive side. That's Both teams are playing great defense. East is playing a very good defensive game as well. That's an interesting st statistic I didn't even think about. Yeah, I, I, I like, that's Cronin's. I, I've never heard of him until this year. <laughs> McCorkle with the ball, guarded by Peck. You don't want to foul here unless they're sh shooting. Inside, Ayler from downtown. Short. No good. Rebound by Bash Whelan. Oh, we travel. travel. Everybody seems to be too quick on their feet. Just You got the rebound, just relax. Yeah, especially when you have the lead there. Yeah. Give it to a guard. Ayler wide open. Ooh, thought he had it. McCorkle with the ball. Two look minutes for, to go, two minutes. Look for Carter Combs here. Coming out to the uh, perimeter. Uh, Wags for the shot, count oh, it. Good shot by Wagner. Four point lead. Points off turnovers. I think that was the 19th turnover for East. Peck better get it across. Oh, they had a chance to trap him there. Yeah. They knew he had to get some time off. Corey Blount with the ball. Jared Cox with the ball with a four point lead, and we got a timeout. Timeout ball on the side. This is what Clint likes to do. He likes to save his timeouts for the end of the game. Will Johnson going to come back in. Well, that's a, that's a great coaching move, especially when you have the lead. Keep your team under control. Yeah. He wants a good he wants a good play here. Still a two-possession ball game. Yeah, you know, if they get in the deliberate offense, you want, you want to force West to foul you, right? Yep. And uh, I think that's the key for uh, West. And even the way West is playing defense. Get a turnover. Yeah. They got 19. Yeah. That's my best count. It might even be as much as 20 at this point. And to your point, they don't really need a foul yet. No, they don't. They just got to play some defense and yep. and get, get a steal. Yep. East here has to convert free throws. Yep. What do we say? Free throws, free throws, free throws. Both teams will be shooting too. Yep. Takes a little pressure off everybody. Yep. Great crowd here tonight. I don't think anybody's left. No, I don't think so. A lot of West, a lot of sweaty palms over here on the east side. Everybody's smiling on the west side. They, they've got a game, and they got they wanted a game, they got it. Yeah. I turn around, and I see so many east fans here. It's just amazing how well you guys travel. Yeah, we, we, we're good, especially when it's only in town. But, yeah, we do travel <laughs> well. That's true. I'm, I'm judging the, one of the best games to watch, right, for that. Oh, boy. Oh, Jared. Oh, nice move. Wow. What a nice move. Isolation play. Nice play. Let's see if we could see that again. That was beautiful. Wow. Wes had no idea that was coming. That's, that was the second inbounds play they, they scored on in this half. And a timeout by East with a 
Here's our here's our replay on Watch that. Watch the clear out. Watch the clear out, and then he fakes going in. They fake it. Oh, but wow. it just left him. Nice play. It's too easy. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, Greenwood was just being aggressive. Yeah. To be honest with you, and he's staying on his man, and and it was a fake pass. It was honestly, that's just a great play. Yeah. I thought Greenwood was just being aggressive. Yeah. Well, the tough thing there is that uh, we forget about Jared Cox, how strong he is underneath, and how quick he is off the floor. Jared with 13 points. He's the leading scorer in the league this year with 18. Let me give you that stat. Second leading scorer with 18.2. West with the ball with 131 to go. Six-point lead for the Thunderhawks. Still no need to panic. Just got to get the easy basket. They need a basket, though. They need a basket on this possession. Yep. Okay, token pressure. Make sure it's a good look. Greenwood with the – Greenwood – Good switch by, by Cox. Thought about it. Good defense. Good defense by Jared. Oh, he got him up in the air. Oh, he's oh, got to finish. Out of control. Jared Cox with a rebound. They got a foul. And they fouled him. Good rebound there with a minute seven to go. Two shots here for Jared Cox. He has a chance to take the team lead in scoring and the game lead in scoring. Well, with two. McCorkle did a nice job of creating. He just needed to finish. Yeah, he just didn't finish. But what can you do? He's a sophomore. He's done, played a great game. Yes. First one is good. 14-point lead, 7-point lead for these 14 points for Jared Cox. Second one is up and good. Eight point lead for East. Big big possession here for, for West. Oh boy. Uh, almost a steal by Corey Blunt. Corey Blunt's played a very good game. A lot of deflections. West needs to get a shot off pretty soon. Somebody's got to get a shot off, a good quality look. Outside Ayler, no Ooh. good. Rebound by Jackson C. Got to get the foul. Time. Over to Jared. He's going to finish. Foul and count it. Count the basket. I think that's going to be all she wrote. Foul for McCorkle. That's his third. Count the basket. That's 17 points for Jared Cox. Started the game. Started the quarter with only five. Coach Rick Haynes coming over to say hello. He's football coach. Going to control the kids before they get out of control. But everybody's in the control. Yep. Jared Cox for the old-fashioned three. And it's good. 18 points for Jared. 38 seconds to go. Down by nine. Or 11. Excuse me. Oh, stolen by Jared. He feels it. Foul, that could be an intentional foul. Is that going to be intentional? Nope. They're not talking about it. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. He came, got him from behind. It's the right call. Yeah, and he held him with both hands. It's the right call. Jared Cox will get two shots, and then East will keep the ball. I got to tell you, Wes just – played a great game. They, yeah. it's not, the score will not reflect and that's a shame. the kind of game they played. That is a shame because it was a great game to, to call and to watch and be a part of. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, No no question about it. Proud, proud of both teams' efforts, but pr proud of the West effort. Hats off to Cox here. I mean, didn't, didn't have his best offensive game early, but still finished the game strong. Yeah, he has great fourth quarters. He might have 20 after this. That's what you need from senior leadership. Yeah, that's 19. Started the quarter with five. Wow. Senior leadership right there. That's why he's playing at the next level. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Coach Atkins making sure they do the right thing. Yeah, they're, not, they're just coming in like they're playing in a hockey game. And that's his 20th point of the game. Here comes a replay of that intentional foul. 
And he definitely uh, yeah, got him from behind intentional. But he held him up. It wasn't dirty. No, it was definitely not dirty. It was not dirty. It was an intentional foul, but not dirty. That's the key. Yeah. Subs coming in. A whole host of them. Yeah, 23 for Isaiah Flood in for West East. Furman in. Uh, there was a McKay with the travel. 13-point lead for West East with 16.4 seconds to go. Great game, my friend. Enjoy doing the game with you, Steve. Oh, it's really an honor to do it with you and, and to have an East and West representative on the microphone. is fantastic. Fantastic, and it was a great game. Either way, I would have been happy to be here. Yes. Plus, the seats are pretty good, too. Always. That's why we do it. West with the ball with 10 seconds to go. Long downtown shot. Count it. Nice stroke by Massa. Nice stroke by Massa. That is his sixth point of the game. And with that, we're going to call that a game. Lakota East Thunderhawks 47. The Lakota West Firebirds 37. Ten-point win for the Thunderhawks. This is Mike Coleman from Steve Newen. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great night. Have a great night, Mike. Great working with you, brother. Thanks, man.